with Porto <coughs> and um, you see you have the distinction between the circle and the profane right um, <coughs> desecrating what is holy so obviously you can see the the quiet right they despise natural people you know and they think that uh, you know, look, there's the transitions <laughs> the transitions the rites of passage the rites of passage it represents movements from one state the profane to the other sacred or back again so the rites of passage, you know, they uh, remember the transpassing idea and all that. And the Scottish rites, yeah, it's a very interesting. <laughs> yeah, now this is pretty interesting. Lee. You see, as here, the north refers to the outer or profane world and east to the inner world of masonry. But, yeah, I mean, even this has got to be a lie. Like, they tell lies all the time. West is the, the, the outer or profane world. world, And the east is, obviously, the inner masonry. So, of course, these tell lies all the time, won't they? Unbelievable. But, obviously, it shows, like, the difference between the sacred and the profane. Now, profane is outside of the temple. You know what I mean? Course 33 there. In the uh, <coughs> this is Emil Durkheim, course the Heim, again, the, the Huam and the James, right? And the sacred things refers to things considered to be holy or divine, and are therefore treated with reverence and respect. So like the the reverend, you know, the reverend in the uh, the vicar title and respect, think of the respect, the uh, amount of times of our pop songs and that called respect or something, you know, and all the time we're just talking about being a trans. You know, they got any respect for naturals, it's just all about that trans people, see. And there's the divide, you know, two categories, so, you know. And religion is based upon this division, well there you go. It's basically admitting that telling you that it's a trans based stuff, you know, our religion is trans based. The elementary forms of religious life, so you know what I mean? The whole idea of religion is based on trans medicine. You know, end of. Without the trans medicine, there would be any religion, there wouldn't have been, there wasn't any, <laughs> you know, simple as. People say that, like, the Jesus idea has been around for thousands of years. And so the transes are in um, contradiction of Jesus' laws or something. It's absolute cobblers. Because all the religion is based on the trans, the sacred profane dichotomy, see? Which is trans, right? The basis, central characteristic of religion. And there's the unified, again, like the United Nations idea and all this. It's a thousand percent. Central, um, central to the United Nations thing is the uh, let us beat plow swords into plowshares. So again, it's very similar. Like the pen is mightier than the sword. You know, destroy the sword of the enemy, as they view it, which is the natural people. Of course, it's too bulky. Yeah. Look like it could be like interpreted as a curve, like a curvature coming off from the old Christianity as well. You know, like the Christianity was uh, there for a certain time to introduce certain concepts. And then it basically slides away, the curve into something else. See what I mean? It's all part of their uh, plan, whoever we're planning that. You see, yeah, uh, this one who done the artist done us who done the statue. Yeah, was the uh, of the descent of Anna Andreevna Stewart. You know, so they're all related. You know, like them Romanov ones. Yeah, uh, in this in the sort of Stewart ones were sort of well 
known to look exactly the same and that could cause all of the same bloodline and that. And yeah, yeah, you have this sigil of Baphomet with five points. So again, these are basically needle points, you know, at the um, the goat's head inside an inverted pentagram. So again, this is yeah, you know, this this is making a duality between the the sacreds and the profanes, you know, like an animal yeah, trapped within in a pen, like like a prison ideally, or someone who's basically freed from the prison by the points. You know, like getting the injections and that. So it's always there trying to stop. So you have the uh, order of the trapezoid, which again is attributable to that Church of Satan with Anton Levier. Order of the trapezoid. And so it's like the trap, you know, like the trap, the pen, the trap. The uh, cage, prison idea, see, the trapezoid. And 666 for the third sex, right? third gender. And there's a, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it, uh, tripod thing again, representing the syringe. See? So that syringe leads to being in the third sex type of idea. Right? And the uh, Again, like the passing, the pa trans passing idea, the, the trap is the day with being a trans again. And as you see, yeah, it's a, qu it's a quadrilateral, so that's four, like the Dalit, right? So the sort of trap idea applies to the trans community. You know, possible traps, you know, the rites of passage and the trap. So it's, you know, it's, um, trans trap. And they remember all them type of songs, read. Really. Yeah, you see, yeah, read. Really. Song about being stuck, like that, stuck in the middle with you. But this is what I was thinking of, the trapped Colonel Abrams, <laughs> you know, like the Abrahamic religions. And I remember that one, like, yeah. I think the lyrics was something about being, I'm sure, confused or something. Did you see what this is all about, you know? Trapped. Iggy Pop. So, of course, they've done loads of um, tea time dub encounters. Of course, you know, must be a hundred songs. With them type of uh, things about being trapped and stuck and all that, you see what I mean? So this truly really must be, you know, what uh, the Scottish rights idea is about the rights of passage. Which means, uh, there's some Jewish there. Which means, um, you know, good from one state into another. So obviously, again, that's metaphor for the trans. Of course, this is the profane idea of it, you know, where it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like these type of baptism, profane baptism, you sprinkle a little bit of water on a baby's head. In a sacred baptism idea, you basically change its sex or gender. Of course, you know, like, yeah, protected by black magic ideas and that, you know, the true meanings of what it is. Sacraments. So all of being a trans, basically. And interestingly, when you have the uh, the trapezoid. The zoid is a reproductive cell. Yes, yeah, sexually reproductive spore, a sexually reproductive gamut. So again, you know, even the trapezoid idea is to 
to do with the uh, change in genders idea and all that. Really. And here, uh, Masonic person is the second degree of, of masonry, like the second skin, you know, the second coming of Christ. You know, like the second day, uh, your second gender, you know, generally called person. The door is entered, the Dalit, uh, by benefit of a password. Masonic funeral, that will be the death of the old gender and the birth of the new gender, eh? Bilderberg The man who would be king War and Peace Very cool today, eh? that title Passing genders Cisgender Better employment opportunities <laughs> for their own transes. I would say all employment opportunities at this stage is for their own transes. Yeah, the ability to pass the standard. So, this is the standard, say, in the society the ability to pass as a trans. <laughs> right, as far as I'm concerned, the majority of them feel like, bloody hell, <laughs> unbelievable, like. See some right monsters like them. Barrel shaped little little men walking around and stuff, you know, with short arms. Yeah, Boris Pasternak. Pasternak's translations. My sister, my my sister, life, you know, a lot of cool daily. And yeah, I think he done, he done one of the big, very famous books. Pasternak. Uh, Dr. Zivogua, put the trans program. <laughs> you know, the Dr. Zivogua. Of course, yeah, you know, you have a passport. Like what was going on about them passports? So basically, you know, like to so know who's a trans and who isn't, you know, end up. Port, of course, is like the door we had the Dalit. Yeah, you know, so know who's a trans and who isn't, basically. You know, end up. Just now that becomes Goy as well, you know. <laughs> Some stuff here, look. Change your name, pronouns and wardrobe to reflect your true self. Of course, the mirror is very, uh, you know, uh, to deal with it. The mirror, it start homework therapy. But, um, how does the race to accept an idea of But uh, even when you have the tips, say like the tips, you're talking about the needle tips, you know. It's always like good and all that. Or the PG tips, which was, you know, one of the most famous tea brands. So you see what I mean? The tea, the tea drink, now was, was totally created. There's a four transes, you know, to sort of relax them or whatever, but probably as a byproduct of the getting the herbs in that for the year, uh, that for their actual trans medicine, a special blend tea. So it sort of has one, you know, come about, the other come about as well, you know, like the trans medicine and the, uh, just the drinking tea, you know. Of course, all this stuff comes out the east, yeah. Apparently, you have a tea point, yeah, tea point. <laughs>